This is part 21 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what's a view and its role in ASP.NET Core MVC. Let's understand this with an example. At the moment, within our project, we have only one controller and that is this home controller. Within the home controller class, we have this details action method and the return type of this method is view result. Within this method, we are making use of this view helper method. And as you can see from the IntelliSense, this view helper method is provided by the base controller class and our home controller is inheriting from that base controller class. So the view helper method is also available for our home controller. And as you can see from the IntelliSense, the return type of this view helper method is view result, which matches with the return type of our details action method. And to this view method, we are passing the model data that we want to present to the user. At the moment, when we run this project and navigate to slash home slash details, we get this error. So let's understand why we are getting this error. In MVC, a view is a file with .cshtml extension because the programming language that we are using is C Sharp. CS in the file extension stands for C Sharp. ASP.NET Core MVC uses some default conventions to name view files and find those files on the file system. So let's understand those default conventions now. MVC looks for view files in a folder that is named views. So the top level folder name here is views and within the top level folder, it is looking in a subfolder that is named home. Home because our controller name is home controller. All the views that belong to a specific controller live in a folder that has the same name as the controller. So in our case, all the views that belong to this home controller will live inside a subfolder that is named home in the views folder. And then the name of the view is details.cshtml. Details because the name of the action method from which we are returning this view is details. So when we run our project, and navigate to slash home slash details, MVC looks for this view file details.cshtml in these three locations in the order that is specified right here. We'll discuss what are these shared and pages folders in our upcoming videos. At the moment, MVC is not able to find details.cshtml in any of these three locations and that's the reason we see this error. Obviously, to fix this, we have to create this details.cshtml file in our project. So let's do that now. In the root of our project, let's create a new folder, name it views. In this views folder, we want a subfolder with name home because all the views that belong to this home controller will be in the home folder. In this home folder, we want a view file with name details.cshtml. Details because the name of the action method is details. So let's add a new item. In this add new item dialog box, select razor view and the name of our view file is details.cshtml. Delete this auto generated code, type HTML and press tab. Visual Studio will automatically generate this HTML. In the body, let's include an H1 element with text details.cshtml from views slash home folder. Save the changes and reload this page. Notice the error is gone. So what is a view? A view is a file on the file system with CSHTML extension. CSHTML because the programming language that we are using is C Sharp. You can think of a view as an HTML template with embedded razor markup. At the moment, within our details view, we don't have any razor markup. We'll discuss what is razor code and including it in a view in detail in our upcoming videos. What is the responsibility of a view? Well, a view is only responsible for presenting the model data provided to it by the controller. So a view should only contain the logic to display model data. If we take a look at the details action method within our home controller, notice we are passing employee model data to the view. So this view should only contain the HTML and razor code to present this model data. We'll discuss how to do this in our upcoming videos. As we have already discussed, MVC uses some default conventions to name view files and find those view files on the file system. 
For example, let's say in our project, we have got an employees controller with these three action methods and a home controller with these three action methods. For these two controllers with their respective action methods, this is how the views folder structure will be. Notice in the views folder, we have two subfolders, employees and home. All the views that belong to the employees controller are in this employees folder. Notice the name of the view files. They have the same name as these public action methods. The same is true even for the home controller. All the views that belong to this home controller are in this home folder. And the name of these view files match the name of these public action methods. If you do not like this default convention, you can change it. We'll discuss how to do that in our next video. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching.